Hi everyone, this is Reginald from Clever With Cash. I want to say first of all, thank you so much for tuning into another episode of my channel. Um, on my channel, I talk about personal finance, budgeting, and all things related to personal finance, such as getting out of debt, of my debt-free journey. So in a previous video, I did talk about ways that you can save money being a teacher, so stop spending your money on your classroom. If you haven't already watched that video, it is included in the description box. Today, I'm going to be talking about one of those resources, Donor Shoes. These are tips that you can use with funding a project. The Donor Shoes is a website that you can use, you can use them for school supplies for your students, incentives, your poetries, or anything like that. This video is going to be geared towards the standard project, not the guest speaker and not a field trip or a virtual field trip. However, you can probably use these tips on all of the projects. But I don't yet have experience with creating projects in those categories. Why is he telling me about this? Well, I've had lots and lots of experience with getting my projects funded. Um, you can check out my Donor Shoes page to see every single project that I've gotten funded. And I went from having zero school supplies starting one school year because we had a hurricane, Hurricane Harvey come and wipe out everything. We went from zero school supplies to having a classroom full of school supplies. And you would have never known that we had a hurricane happen. And that was mostly due to Donor Shoes. I had other people donate to my classroom. Donor Shoes was a huge catalyst. So I'll talk a little bit about what Donor Shoes is. So next I'm going to be talking about a point system. Whenever you go to the Donor Shoes website, there is a point system. Now the point system is a whole lot better than it used to be. Every time you create a project, you lose a point. Currently I have nine points. So that means I could create nine projects. You do earn points whenever you submit your thank you letters and photos for parents. When you submit your thank you letters and your photos of your students showing that they're engaged and also your impact letter, you get a point. You lose six points if you have a special request. So this is something that doesn't fall under any of the categories. So first you start with who. In the who section, you describe your classroom is a part of your community. In this section, I use demographics for my school, Title I school. Uh, most of my students are English learners. So the what. The what is my favorite section because that's what you want for your project. My tip is to create a cohesive project. So some examples of projects that I've created are I've created a flexible seating project. I did that at a school that I was previously at and currently now I have a flexible seating project that I'm trying to get funding depending on when you're look, watching this video. Um, I've had an accelerated reader project where I had incentives for students every six weeks. If they reached a certain milestone, they would get a reward. So for one, six weeks we had goldfish and they were official readers. UFO spin tops, they were out of this world readers. And I've done projects for other things as well in my classroom. Basic school supplies, so things that I need for school supplies, but they're teacher specific. So sometimes I don't like to ask parents or students to get school supplies that only I'm going to use for my classroom, like um, dry erase boards or... So the why, you're gonna explain why you need these projects. For my students, I always explain that it's going to help them with being engaged. My population, I teach fourth grade and I teach general education, hence the fourth grade shirt. I'm a self-contained teacher, so I teach a large variety of students. So in order to engage every single student, English learners fall under special education, gifted and talented. I have students that are completely different. So they're very diverse learners is why I usually need projects funded because I want to be able to engage all learners and make my classroom an inclusive place. My school is also a Title I school, meaning that many of my students come from low-income backgrounds. It's very important that my students have an equitable education, and so I want to always provide my student with access to a quality education so that it can prepare them for life after high school, whether they go to college, whether they go straight into the workforce, whether they go to a trade or the military. And the why is always important to me because I started off as a high school college advisor, helping students go from high school to college and also helping high school students to apply for scholarships and take their SATs and all of those sorts of things. I see the impact from an education from when they're really tiny to all the way when they're in high school and going to college. And then after you put the why, <laughs> and then after you put the why, you review your whole project. You don't have to get all of your school supplies from one vendor. You can get your school supplies from multiple vendors. My favorite vendor, of course, is Amazon because it's convenient and there are different kinds of items that you can get on Amazon. It's just so diverse. It's kind of like the Walmart of the internet. Um, 
but I have used websites for school supplies like Office Depot. I've used um, Best Buy mostly for I've used Best Buy mostly for technology. Um, I've used Lakeshore, of course. It's a very popular for educators, especially primary educators. And I believe Scholastic was on there at one point. I'm not sure if they're still on there or not. So this was an overview of how to get your project funded. A lot of people find it overwhelming whenever they first do donut shoes. But once you do one project, it'll be easier and easier to do more and more projects. And last but not least, I want to plug my donor shoes link. So by using this referral code, I will be getting $25 to go towards my classroom, but you'll also get double donations to your classroom. So if anyone donates to your classroom within the first week, you will get a that donation double. I like to think win-win. Also, you can go to my donor shoes page, not just to donate to my classroom, but you can also go through and see all of the projects that I've gotten funded. You can look at those for tips on what kind of project you want to create, what projects did work, what projects didn't work. I only had one project, I believe, that did not get funded at all, and it was for getting dictionaries donated to my classroom. No, thesaurus is donated to my classroom. Maybe with dictionaries too. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to share it with your other teacher's friends. But most importantly, hit the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want any more tips, not just teacher tips, of course. My channel is geared towards personal finance and saving you money. How I have paid off debt.